Hey guys, it's Kaler. In today's video, I just wanted to show you this plugin that I use in most of my videos. A lot of people have been asking in the comments what it is and how to download it. So all it is is an icon plugin. So if I want this chart, I just click on it and it puts it into my document. It lets me scale it up. You can also change the color of it. You can edit this and do whatever you want with these icons. Um, if you want to favorite some of these, so if I use this archive box here a lot, I can click the star. To view my favorites, just click the star up here in the top right corner, and here's your favorites list. Unfavorite something, just click the star again. Really simple. You can also search for things, so if I want a settings icon, I can just search gear, and here I have two options to choose from. So now I'm going to show you how to install this plugin. Alright, to install the plugin, all we have to do is Google it, so font awesome Photoshop plugin is the name of it. I'm just going to click on the first link. Here's the URL in case it's not the first link that shows up. Click download free. It's going to ask you for your name and email. Select download. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder since I'm on Mac. And double click it to extract it. Inside this folder we have two files, a .zxp and an installation guide. Double click on the installation guide. It provides you with an instruction link. So click on that. And it's a four step instruction. So it's really simple. First thing we have to do is download this ZXP installer or update it and select download for your operating system on OS X. So it's going to download that. I'm just going to close this while it's downloading. Uh, the next step is to extract, which we've already done. Then all we have to do is drag this file into the ZXP installer. So if I go back to my downloads folder, here is our .zxp file. Since I've already installed the uh, ZXP installer, I'm just going to open it. And all you have to do is drag this file inside of this one. I'm not going to do it since I already have it installed, but that's all you have to do. Just relaunch Photoshop. If you have it open, just close it and relaunch it. And go to Windows, Extensions, and select Font Awesome PS. That'll open up. I'm just going to click on this little bars right here, these little gray bars, and I'm going to drag this to my sidebar. So all you have to do is click on it. It takes a while to load. It's not glitched. It just loads all the icons, so it takes a bit. And there is your plugin. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if it was useful down in the comments below. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.